use of cover. The first thing to cover will be hold down positions and berm drills. American vehicles with their larger high turret allow greater gun depression, so they're particularly good at this. Generally speaking though, the higher the gun depression angle, the faster and more protected you can engage targets over the top of a hill. The berm drill is what we use to engage targets with a minimum of exposure. The general gist of it is you drive forwards, expose yourself, fire around, and then retreat back into cover while you reload. That's the basic idea, but after a couple of goes of this, the opposition is probably going to figure out what you are doing. So the next thing you want to do is see if you can do a berm drill at an angle, if your depression allows for it. Rotate your hull a little bit, so as you drive forward you are now moving at an angle. This means that you are providing a harder target to track. So if you spin 90 degrees when in cover and you switch from going front left to front right, then from the opposition's point of view he's not exactly going to be sure where you'll pop up from, and hopefully by the time he sees you gets onto target and his aiming circle decreases, you'll already have your shot off and be back into cover again. Now the other thing of course is that artillery loves predictable targets. We'll get back to this a little bit later, but the general takeaway for now is that if you're doing the same thing again and again, you can expect a 155mm round coming right down into your engine deck. This is bad. Again, as much as possible, spin your hull, make yourself a harder target. The next thing is movement between positions. Uh, the saying is that tanks go as the waters flow, but not where the tall reeds grow. The idea behind this is to stay in the low ground. So let's say you're done with your berm drills and you want to advance. Unless you are absolutely, positively, completely sure that there's nobody on the far side of the hill waiting for you to crest, reverse, make a left or a right, go around the hill, stay on low ground, and you'll move forward that way in more relative safety. It'll provide you cover as well as probably concealment. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the DIP, the die in place position. The die in place position is one where you think you've got an awesome fighting position, and you very well may have one. The catch is that when it's time to leave, and eventually there will be a time to leave, you cannot do so without completely exposing yourself to god, country, artillery, anti-tank guns and everything else. So just be careful when you're deciding upon your fighting position, have a think about it. So that's it for use to cover, I'm Nicholas Moore and the Chieftain, see you next time.